To begin, you will need to safely raise and support the vehicle, remove the front wheel well liners and under trays, remove the front bumper cover, and drain the coolant system. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for step-by-step -step instructions and videos on all those tasks. When draining the coolant system, take the time to give all of your hoses a good inspection and replace as needed. The system needs to be vacuum filled, so replace any suspect hoses now. Red Arrow. You are going to remove the air diverters. There is a temperature sensor on the right side diverter, yellow arrow, but not on the left. Release the two plastic clips, blue arrows. Here you can see one of the access ports for the 13mm retaining nuts, red arrow. Disconnect the electrical connections for the temperature sensor from behind the diverter, blue arrow. Remove the two front facing 13 mm nuts, blue arrows, and the one on the top, yellow arrow, and pull the diverter from the radiator. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the two fasteners holding the AC radiator to the coolant radiator, red arrows. There is no reason to open any of the AC lines. Just move the AC radiator out of the way. Disconnect the coolant line from the top of the right side radiator. Squeeze in on the tab, yellow arrow, and pull it back off of the radiator, blue arrow. If you are doing this for the first time, I recommend removing the cross brace, red arrow. There are two 10 millimeter nuts holding it in place. Remove the three 13 mm nuts holding the radiator assembly in place, red arrows. Next, you will be working on the hoses, blue arrow, and the electrical, red arrow. Use your pick and separate the two hand connectors for the radiator hoses and separate them. Remove the 10 mm nut for the headlight ballast, blue arrow, and move it out of the way. Separate the wiring connection for the fan, red arrow. You can now wiggle the radiator assembly out from the vehicle. If you have a center radiator, you will have needed to separate the hand connection on the hose going to the center radiator indicated by the red arrow. This image gives you a good idea of what the radiators see in the form of wear, weather, and debris, yellow arrows. Remove the E10 bolt and slide the mount off the shroud and radiator, green arrow. Next, remove the two 10 mm screws, yellow arrows. Use your hose clamp pliers and remove the two hoses from the radiator, blue arrow. The radiator shroud has two clips on it, red arrows. Use your pick to slide the retaining clips off, blue arrows, and then you can remove the radiator from the rubber mounts. Here is the CSF all aluminum radiator without the plastic weak sides of the factory radiator. Installing the CSF radiator is a direct fit. Everything will line up as factory yellow arrows. You will reuse the factory hardware and mounts red arrows. Install the factory hoses after you replace as needed with factory spring clamps. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure to lightly coat all O-rings and hose connections with a little Porsche coolant gasket lubricant. You must vacuum bleed the coolant system. If the system does not hold vacuum, then you have a leak. Torque the hose holder to bracket, cross brace to body, and control unit to body to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot-pounds. Torque the radiator bracket to body to 23 newton meters or 17 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.